With teeth, they do. All of our, our teeth are going to wear down. If, you, if, you're, if you're eating, they are going to wear to some extent. What we want to determine is, is it pathological? Is something wrong and they're wearing at a premature rate? Or is this just natural wearing that's happening? Natural wear, by and large, isn't going to be that detrimental for the patient long term. There shouldn't be anything really bad happening. There shouldn't be cracks or anything. But pathological wear, wear that's destructive to the dentition, needs to be diagnosed properly. And generally, the reason for wear on a person's teeth are there's really only two reasons for that. One is either something's wrong with the patient's bite, which means how the teeth come together when they chew, which can be an orthodontic problem. Some people, even though they've had orthodontics, they still chew kind of funny. And the easiest way I can think of that is that the bite is out of alignment somehow. Okay. And this comes a lot with my studies with temporal mandibular joints and facial pain. A lot of patients will come in and say, yeah, I was diagnosed with TMJ as a kid, and I know I have TMJ, but when I asked them what the diagnosis was, they just said TMJ. Well, that's, that's okay. Can I kind of understand that? But that's sort of a blanket statement, and it doesn't really say what's wrong with the individual. Because what we'll do is we'll do a workup then, and we'll find out, oh, guess what? Your TMJ joints are fine but your bite isn't balanced properly. It's out of alignment. And the way I explain this to my patients, it's like your car. You're driving down the road, right? And one tire's out of alignment. Well, guess what happens to the other three if you don't go in and get that rotated? Something eventually wears out. Can you still drive? Yeah. Can you still eat with your teeth out of alignment? Yeah, but things are gonna wear funny. One solution for some patients um, that are wearing down their teeth or if, if they hit, feel like their, um, their bite has changed or maybe only a couple teeth hit now, um, a lot of times, yeah, that can, might be complicated. It might be something that they might need orthodontics. But a lot of times what it is is it's just a simple, um, what's called an equilibration, which going back to like my tire analogy is just fixing the teeth and getting them adjusted. Maybe it means adding a little bonding to this tooth and maybe taking away a little sharp edge on another tooth. That's a real easy appointment. It doesn't require anesthetic or anything. And it's a great service. Um, we do this pretty much on all patients when we're doing fillings or any kind of restorative work in a person's mouth, like crowns or anything. But we do it with patients sometimes just at their hygiene check. And the reason is because we want everything to be balanced. And patients will notice it right away. A lot of times they'll say, oh, I think my bite's fine. But yeah, you know, once in a while this one wears a little bit. But after we adjust them, when they come back, they're always like, man, my bite feels so good. I can feel actually all my teeth. And that's a real simple service that can be done in probably 90% of the scenarios with people that are wearing down their teeth. So the first step is to diagnose, is it a bite issue? Is it something that needs to be realigned? And that can be real simple to just adjusting a couple teeth to something maybe more complex where we need some orthodontic treatment or maybe we need to rebuild actually all the teeth. The other reason for problems with wearing down the teeth is something called parafunction, which is just a fancy word basically that means the person's grinding their teeth like that, gnashing them, clenching them, or they're doing some sort of destructive habit like chewing ice or chewing plastic or weird things that people do. Um, that's a little more insidious in a sense because what is happening there is a lot of times the person's unconscious. They don't realize this is happening. Most things with grinding the teeth, clenching the teeth is caused um, unconsciously. They're usually doing it either when they're asleep or their mind is elsewhere. A lot of my patients commute over Highway 17 over into Silicon Valley and they're in bumper to bumper traffic and so they're clenching their teeth the whole way over then their jaw muscles are sore so on the way back they grind them the whole way back. Now that's not because their bite's bad but they're slowly grinding their teeth away. Okay, The person that grinds their teeth generally is putting their teeth together two, three thousand times a day whereas the person who doesn't is generally putting two, three hundred times a day. So you can see how that exponentially increases how much wear is going on. The other thing about um, grinding the teeth and clenching is it's generally caused from stress, okay? But stress comes in different forms. One form of stress is emotional, stressed out about the day, I'm late to work. The other stress, though, is physical. I mean, there's some sort of something, they have a bad neck, a bad back, we've all stubbed our toe, and what's the first thing we do? Oh, that hurts so bad that kind of thing. But the other thing which is really serious is, is it could be a sign if they're doing it at night, it could be a sign of something called sleep apnea, which is where a patient stops breathing. Okay, and if a person stops breathing at night, the body will then wake itself up by starting to clench the teeth. And that really needs to be diagnosed properly because that is something that can affect their overall health. So 
the main thing is to get the proper diagnosis and treat it.